Hey guys, it's Rich, and in this video I want to talk about what 2016 means for me. If you've been watching Pagan Perspective, then you probably saw me on the first week of January. We had a question that asked, what do we do for the new year? Or if we even celebrate the new year. And I said that one of my things that I did in the new year was set goals for myself instead of resolutions. The reason that I set goals for myself is because resolutions, the first time you break them, they're done. So for me, I set goals pretty much whenever I landed, actually before I even left New Jersey. I set goals for myself, what I want to accomplish by the end of this year in Korea specifically, and that kind of carries on throughout all of 2016, or at least most of 2016. And I hope by the time that I finish off with 2016, that, or when I finish off with the uh, tour here in Korea, that I actually continue them throughout the rest of 2016, and throughout the rest of my life, actually. Um, first off, I want to say that setting goals, you know, for me, you have to have an end game and plan for most goals. The goals that I set for myself weren't really end game type of situations. Uh, one of them was to be more spiritual, uh, to delve into my practice in particular, and start questioning why I do some things that I do. So that's one reason that I started the Christo Pagan series, and I so far only have one video done of that. So. There's more to come soon. I have a huge list, probably as long as I am tall, which is five, nine and a half, five, ten, for those of you who are wondering. Um, but I have a lot of those videos I want to do, and there's a lot of things I want to research, so really that's what 2016 is for me. It's introspective. It's looking into myself and seeing what it is, or why I do what I do, and who I really am beyond the persona of the the one energy, I guess, that I create or that I, I express. I'm really more of a seven energy, and those of you who do no, numerology know really what that is. Uh, underneath the one energy of being, you know, I'm forefront. Underneath all that, I'm really an introvert and a uh, a spiritual seeker. It, it's, I mean, that's no news to you guys who actually watch my channel. So I, I really want to embrace that seven energy a lot more than the one energy of being the forefront to something. I really want to delve into my practice more. But the end game of, of my goals, there really is none. It's something that I have to strive for, so how will I know when I've achieved it? One thing that I decided to do was come up with a blog uh, with ChristoPagan.com. It's really more of a tracker for me than, than anything right now. And I really want to get other people involved in it. I really want to try to make a, a website centered around what Christo pagans believe and how they blend paganism and Christianity into into their practice. You know, something like that. So I started that, and it's becoming more of a tracker for where how far I've become. Another thing that, I, that I'm doing is doing the Christo Pagan series. And that's really tracking pretty much the same aspects. But more than just tracking it, it's getting me to look at the nitty gritty of things. Looking at the individual aspects of my practice, really putting them under the microscope. So that's my goal for 2016 is looking in, 
being very introspective in my in my readings in my well, excuse me I got sniffles here but it's really about embracing the introvert that I am and really going into reading books and learning more and connecting more with my faith and in deity and what it all really means to me. One of the podcasts I listen to is called Psychic Teachers. You can find them on iTunes and I highly recommend them. And one of the things that they actually tell you to do for the new year is to come up with a word of something that you want to strive for in the new year. Around January 2nd, and I wasn't even thinking about this until well after January started. Around January 2nd, I had this epiphany that really changed what I think about my path and, and who I am and really got me on the track of delving more into my uh, questioning everything that I believe type thing and what it all really means. And it was later on that I was re-listening to one of the podcasts and they said to pick a word. It was one of the New Year's Day podcasts. And they said to pick a word and I sat there for a second and I said, Wisdom. It just came to me. I said, Wisdom is the word of the year. So, what does wisdom mean? For me, the word wisdom means not necessarily knowledge, but getting down to the nitty gritty and knowing why I believe what I believe. So, that's really the word I'm working with this year, is gaining knowledge and gaining that aspect of what do I need to gain wisdom. So, that's just something I wanted to put out there and ask if you guys do the same thing. Do you have goals that you're setting for this new year and how will you know when you've achieved them? One way I'll know is going back over all these videos and seeing how much I've actually learned what knowledge I've gained, what wisdom I've come across. Certain perseverings that, uh, that came to light. Little epiphanies here and there, and the big ones as well. So, how will you know when you've achieved your goals? What goals have you set? Have you set any goals for this year? And what is your word for this year? What does 2016 mean for you? Just a little thoughts and ramblings. So, if you guys have anything to say about this video, please comment below. Always looking for topics and suggestions. I got one today with the uh, January uh, tarot, free tarot reading giveaway. Somebody left a great comment there that I'm going to develop into a video topic. It's actually one I'm going to put on the Christopaganism uh, series because after I, I do some baseline uh, videos, then I kind of want to do this topic as well. So it's going to take a little while for me to get to that topic, but it's definitely on the list. So if you have any comments, put them below. Topic suggestions, Put them below. Uh, and I think that's it. I think that's all I have. Let me know what your your word of the year is, if you have one, and some goals. Video responses are always welcome. Uh, I don't think I really have had that many, but they're always welcome as well. So, until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.